So Zara, Tony Houlihan trying to clarify what this move means, but there's still confusion over whether it's temporary or not. Yes, Clet, so it seems that now following uh, Tony Hulland's appearance before this private meeting of the Health Committee that what we're talking about is the difference between the word uh, relinquished and resigned. The uh, Chief Medical Officer, current Chief Medical Officer Tony Hulland saying that uh, he has relinquished his role, uh, will re relinquish his role as a CMO. He has no intention of returning to that role. In fact, he points to the fact that it's very important for whoever replaces him that they would have uh, the space to get on with that job. And he said that uh, for that reason that he would allow them to uh, go into that role and that he would move on into his new role at Trinity College. But he was clear in saying that he hadn't resigned from his position within the Department of Health. So uh, Sinn Féin's health spokesperson, David Colnan, was at that meeting this morning. So it was important to say that uh, David Colnan supports the role that Tony Hoolan is going into in Trinity College in a sense that he thinks it's an important uh, role in, in terms of developing our public health strategy as a country. But he is asking many questions, like many other people, about how this arrangement was made. And even after that appearance this morning, Colette, it's still not clear exactly who signed off on this secondment and how, uh, the how it is a secondment, in fact, if uh, the CMO is going to this and it's completely open-ended. What he seemed to be saying is I'm not resigning from my role as such but I am relinquishing and stepping down from the role so it seems that yes he is on a contract that he will see out as CMO uh, and he won't be resigning in that role but he won't be fulfilling his duties as a CMO and somebody else will but for most people that's a retirement that's moving away so it just seems all very odd and all very bizarre when really this should have been very simple you're stepping down from your role you're taking up a position which I actually believe is a really good position and I wish him well and I think that the controversy over this is unfortunate. Well, Colette, David Conan says we need to get clarity on this. He's calling on the Health Minister Stephen Donnelly and the Secretary General at the Department of Health to uh, explain and to clarify exactly who signed off on this secondment arrangement and why exactly it is that the Department of Health is paying for this. He points to the fact that uh, there is a pay gap between the salary that a CMO would be paid and what a professor in Trinity College would be paid. He says that gap is around €30,000. Uh, Euro. Just separately, Tony Hulin giving an update uh, to members of that committee this morning in relation to the current uh, situation in terms of uh, public health, Colette saying that um, the situation in Ireland uh, in terms of people wearing masks, they're asking people to wear masks still in those uh, crowded settings. But in terms of uh, need for public health measures, there is no further need for measures. Uh, the CMO telling the committee this morning that this is now uh, living with COVID and people have an opportunity to make up their own minds.